driving to Disneyland Paris and back in just a day, venturing as far as Cologne or Amsterdam. There's so many great theme parks on our doorstep just across from the UK in mainland Europe. With the Euro Tunnel only taking around half an hour, suddenly there's some amazing roller coasters that are within quite a reasonable commute. Hey, this is Stu for Out On Back Travel. I make videos to help inspire your own theme park adventures. Coming up in this episode, we're firing up the road trip radar to see which parks are near the Euro Tunnel Terminal in Calais. I'm quite a big fan of the Euro Tunnel. The 35 minute crossing between the UK and mainland Europe is convenient, efficient and always a pleasure. I just got back from driving from my home in North Yorkshire to Fantasyland theme park near Cologne. Previously we've driven to Wallaby Holland and Disneyland Paris with car rental costs surging upwards and not having to deal with the airport faff that comes with flying, let's take a look at some viable options that are within reasonable distance of the Euro Tunnel Terminal. If you're planning to drive your own UK car into Europe, it's always worth checking what items you require to avoid any fines. It's likely you'll need a UK sticker, some headlamp deflector stickers and a high-vis jacket for each person inside the car. The rules are different per country so please check before making your trip. If you're looking for inspiration by map, I always recommend checking out Coast to Coaster. These beautiful people have overlaid every park in the world onto Google Maps, which makes it really super simple to see which parks are nearby if you're thinking of starting a road trip. As you can see from the map, the closest park is Bell Park which has two kiddie roller coasters. If that's your thing, you do you honeybee, but I like to concentrate these videos on getting to the larger parks that have a wider appeal. Some of the more interesting parks we can see on the map include Bagatelle, which is just over an hour away in France, which has a Vacoma in Vertigo coaster, and Belwarder in Belgium, which is home to the infamous Huss Topple Tower. There's always additional options if you want to take a deeper dive, but the closest major park will be Plopsaland de Pan, 45 minutes, 62 kilometers. At comfortably under the hour, this is a super easy park to get to. You literally join onto the motorway out of the Euro Tunnel Terminal and it's a straight line until the junction for De Pan, making it great for a first time trip driving abroad. The big news here is obviously the Ride to Happiness roller coaster. The park is a lovely family park with some great quirks. I'll link a video where I've covered the 10 surprising things you'll find at Plopsaland de Pan. Let's continue to head into Belgium and we come to Wallaby, Belgium, 2 hours and 20 minutes, 233 kilometers. This park has a great collection of dark rides and roller coasters headlined by Conda, which opened in 2021, making it quite the hot ticket for us coaster enthusiasts. If we push a little further east, we get to Fantasialand, 4 hours, 409 kilometers. This immersive theme park is full of world-class attractions like the Fab Mouse of Chocolate, and Fly is their newest roller coaster which features two launches and an awesome steampunk setting. Although four hours from the Euro Tunnel Terminal may seem like a stretch, you could group these last few parks together to make an epic road trip. Wallaby Belgium is almost exactly halfway between Plopsland and Fantasaland, and that would be a great free park to include on a road trip. Alternatively, you could head north into the Netherlands where we'll find Efteling, three hours, 295 kilometers. The Enchanted Theme Park has the most wholesome collection of fairy tale inspired dark rides, including the incredible Symbolica, one of the park's newest attractions, which is Disney Universal levels of stunning. Thrill seekers aren't shortchanged either as the park has a good collection of roller coasters too. Heading a little further up into Holland, you'll find Wallaby Holland. Three hours, 55 minutes, 396 kilometers. Just a smidge under the four hour mark and you'll get some RMC goodness of Untamed at Wallaby Holland. This park has a youthful upbeat atmosphere and some serious roller cases including Goliath and the bonkers Lost Gravity. If you are heading into the Netherlands, there's also parks like Toverland and you're likely to pass Bobby Land on the way through. Again, making the possibility of linking all these up to make a nice road trip. However, if you wanted to stay in France and headed south, you'd first reach Park Asterix, 
2 hours 20 minutes, 251 kilometers. In the two times I've driven to Disneyland Paris, we've passed right by Park Asterix, which has sadly been closed on both occasions. The inverted coaster Osiris is literally at the side of the motorway. This quirky French theme park has just refurbished their wooden coaster, Tener du Zeus. But they do have a new roller coaster opening in 2023, so it might be worth holding out. Disneyland Paris Resort, 3 hours, 313 kilometers. At just under the 3 hour mark and you'll reach the Disneyland Paris Resort, the European Disney Resort features arguably the most beautiful of all the Magic Kingdom parks and the Studios Park is getting ready to open their new Avengers Campus, including that Spider-Man Web Slingers ride. If you are driving deep into France, it's worth being aware of the road tolls which can be quite expensive. The drive to Disneyland Paris for example will cost you 20 to 30 euros in tolls one way so I'd really recommend doing a little bit of research into how much the tolls are going to set you back. That way there's going to be no nasty surprises on your fun road trip. So there we are then, that's my recommendations for the major theme parks that are sensible driving distances from the Euro Tunnel Terminal in Calais. Did you find this information helpful? Which parks did I miss? Have you done your own road trip from the Euro Tunnel? Let me know in the comments below and as always, stay safe on the way out and back.